Hey guys, I'm doing something different today and we're going to start a new series called Welcome to My Rig. And in this series we're going to start to show the cool trucks that are on the road and the people who drive them. Today I'm here with Jimmy. Hi. <laughs> and Jimmy has this amazing rig you see here today. And I just wanted to, you know, have you guys get to know Jimmy and his his truck that is just so beautiful, I must say. <laughs> <laughs> and so Jimmy, how did you kind of get started into this? I know you said you never wanted a show truck or anything like that. So what was what was the process to get into this? Uh well we had the truck but it wasn't what it is today. And uh, I have a good group of friends and family and through them pushing me and, and telling us that we should show and giving me ideas on what we should do uh, to get ready to go to our first show. Um, it pretty much what you see is what you get and uh, we all put our heads together and, and did it. <laughs> and I see it's it's definitely a family affair because we have we have Jimmy's son here trying to climb up into the rig. Wave. <laughs> Can you give us a thumbs up? Give a thumbs up. Give a thumbs up. Good job. <laughs> and so the, what's really cool is like seeing how you're, you know, you're, it's a family affair. Getting this rig ready for show, you could see like everybody on top of the rig wiping it down and it's just been a crazy process and, and the how immaculate the truck is is just astounding because you said that this truck works yep. 365 yep yep every week 52 weeks a year we run the midwest so if it's rain and snow and sleet it, it really don't matter the trucks in it so it just takes a little extra work from everybody else to keep it looking nice and so what's the story behind you know like all the details in this truck it, like i know that there's something about the floor you know for this particular uh, show well the, the floor we just had carpet in it originally when we first started throwing around the idea of going to our first show and my friends and family my wife uh were giving me a hard time we can't go to our first show with carpet and we made a couple phone calls got a floor, got everything that we needed, and we had three days to do it. Get it painted, rip the interior out, put everything in it, and my wife, my friends, everybody involved made it happen. That's incredible. And I see that you've, you've named the rig. Would you like to <laughs> talk a little bit about that? Well, the truck's called Can't Afford It. And the reason behind that was through my younger years, when I first started to make money as a kid or young adult, uh, whether it was friends or family or whatever, um, my friends were going on trips on spring break or uh, if there was something that my family told me I should buy, my, my saying was I can't afford it because I would rather save my money than, than to go and blow it on a, a vacation with friends or whatever. I was just very very tight with my money when I was younger and when when this truck was finished it was kind of like yeah I can't afford it <laughs> <laughs> that's perfect oh my gosh I love it and I, I love how you carried the color through the entire truck it's just it's so cohesive and honestly red it definitely stands out so it's it's beautiful it's absolutely beautiful I know that you were just told that you were officially making the Shell Rotella calendar this year. How does that feel to, to know that this, this truck is being commemorated like that? It's unreal. Um, we have heard a lot about the calendar. Um, uh, people like Evan Stagger uh, that, that do all our polishing and stuff, um, he's talked about it a lot and uh, he wanted us to come down here for it. Um, when we came down, I thought we brought a good enough setup that, that we might have a chance to do it. 
um, and finally finding out that we were chosen was was pretty cool. Um, but for for all of us, our guys, my family, everybody involved, that was step one. We wanted to come here, and goal one was we got to try to make the calendar. And if we can achieve that, the second goal is to try to do the best we can showing and, and seeing where we come in amongst everybody here because there's a lot of great trucks and uh, we really want to see how we stack up against everybody. Yeah, I know the turnout was amazing and, and I know you said you had a couple other trucks. Like what, what's your plan for the future? Cause I know, you know, this one's made it. So like, what are you going to do from here? What, what are you going to add? Are you going to add to this one? Are you going to start a new one? This one's pretty much done. Yeah. Um, I think the next thing for us is, is getting that second truck. Um, I have a few ideas of what I would like to do when the time is right and, and we can start a process like that again. Um, this truck really ain't everything I want. Um, so I think the next one, in my opinion, is going to be nicer when that yeah. day comes. Uh, but right now, red and chrome, it's hard to beat red and chrome. It's, yeah. <laughs> it's super pretty when it's done up, when it's shiny. Uh, it's an eye catcher, that's for sure. Absolutely, absolutely. And I, I know what you're saying, like, you know, you feel like it's not, it's never completely finished, it's never completely perfect. Do you have a color picked out for the the next truck? Or are we gonna do red again? Do you know what I mean? <laughs> there, there's a few colors that I like. Um, I do like red. Actually, the whole red thing, Originally, when we were gonna, when we started this, we were contemplating changing the color to white, going with a pearl white with yeah. the red. And uh, after we showed in Wapan last year, we won best of show. We uh, we did very well there, and we came back home. And my wife looked at me and says, "We can't change the color of the truck." She said, "There's something about it that, yep, it, it just works." Yep. yep. And. Uh, it definitely stands out. And tell me a little bit about, you know, Grayson. <laughs> <laughs> Grayson, he's my four-year-old. Um, he's something special. He is by my side all the time, uh, whether we're in the shop working or running to town or in the truck going down the road, he likes to be with us. Um, as far as his work ethic, he is probably the hardest working four-year-old I know and he's not pushed into it. He's not told to do anything. He's asking everybody what he can do. Um, last week when we were at home getting ready, he sat underneath the trailer for eight hours and shined on his terms. Not because I had asked him or wanted him to do it. He wanted to be under there and be a part of it. Um, we come to the show and it's the same thing. Constantly asking what he can do to be a part of it. So like I was telling everybody yesterday, if we win anything this weekend, the coolest part about it is knowing that a four-year-old had a lot to do with everything that went into it. So that's cool. Yeah, and, and I know I saw Grayson earlier before this truck pulled up. You started the truck, didn't you, Grayson? Yeah. And, and it's definitely, it's, it's a blood thing. Yes. Driving is a blood thing. And it, when it's in you, it's, it's in you. And, and Grayson's definitely has that, right? <laughs> be a driver one day and I know like it's it's a very common thing maybe like a lot of people who aren't truck drivers know but having like a picture of your family on your dash is very like it's symbolic for like a lot of drivers and so it, it that's it's a beautiful picture and especially because it's right in front of your truck yep. and that's your family you you look at them while you drive down the road what what does that symbolize for you? That's the most important thing to me. Um, to have the support of my wife, my kids, uh, it means a lot. And it makes leaving home a little bit easier, yeah. knowing that they're there to support you and they understand. My wife has 13 years in the, in the industry uh, being a West Coast dispatcher. So she understands it. She gets it and uh, she's always there to have my back and, and support me, um, especially with the truck shows. I mean. It's a lot of work, a lot of preparation, and I'm sure there's a lot of guys that, that come and do this stuff that have to drag their spouse and their kids to come and do this stuff 
and my family is pushing me to go and do it. So it makes it so much easier to do it. Yeah, no, and that's a that's a huge thing. Like a lot of people don't know the sacrifice that a driver makes for yeah. his family or their family. Um, and being on the road for so long, it's important to have those people, that support system behind you because you wouldn't be where you are without them. No, no, it, it takes everybody. One of the most impressive things that, like when I walked up to your truck for the first time, was of course, you know, like a lot of reefers stylistically want, you know, shiny side. But keeping this thing clean, like and looking like it does today, I don't know how you do it. When it works 365, how do you manage to keep all of this A lot of washes. Uh, but with the stainless, the hard part is, is water spots. And yeah. uh, there's still a few on there. But when you get ready for a show like this, it's a lot, a lot of maintenance, trying to remove those water spots, wiping the trailer down, um, trying to clean it up the best we can. Because when you go to a, a blue beacon or, or something like that on the road, they're only gonna do so much. So a lot of it is just once everything gets home, taking care of it and keeping up on it. Yeah, and I noticed that you painted the, the frame underneath. Yep. Every, everything. <laughs> everything underneath the tra or trailer is painted to match from the axles to all the air tanks, the frame, uh, fuel tank, landing gear, etc. cetera. Um, and that was just to go with the flow of the truck. With the red frame on the truck, we wanted everything to flow to the back of the trailer. Yeah, you carried, you definitely carried it all the way through and it's, it's very cohesive and it's, it's just beautiful. And I know, obviously, hauling a reefer, you haul lots of heavy things and that's yep. why the spread axle. Yep. But I noticed earlier that you can lift your back axle up and it's, it's very convenient to, to park and make turns. When we, when we built this trailer, uh, I wanted to build something to where it would be a little easier to get into some of these warehouses that we go to being that the truck is so long so putting the lift axles on, on both axles makes getting in and out a lot easier. I know that a lot of times like drivers with the spread axles especially getting into tight spots they blow tires yep just just parking so obviously you thought this through yep. when building this setup yep and it Honestly, the thought and all the detail that goes into just building a truck, you have to, that's a, a lot of people don't know how much goes into building the correct rig for like what you're trying to do. Right. And uh, things that work. Everything's got to flow. I mean, there's a lot of people that may have a nice truck, but don't have the, the trailer to match, etc. cetera. Um, to me, it was, it was the final piece to the puzzle um, when we ordered this, inspected out, um, like I said, we wanted everything to basically match what we had on the truck from the single straps on the fuel tank to the truck to match the single straps on the on the reefer tank. Um, the the stainless um, differential cover on the on the truck. We wanted if you're walking to the, from the truck to the back, we wanted everything you're looking at to be stainless all in a row and then from the back forward we wanted the center sections to be painted red all the way through so everything was thought through and and we wanted we wanted it to look like we we put the time in to do it right absolutely and it's beautiful um i i wanted to see if there was anything on the back oh my gosh you painted the doors <laughs> oh i love it and then you have the second license plate with the name yep I haven't seen that a lot on trailers. That's very unique. Yep, yep. Um, that, that took some thought in that. Wow, beautiful, beautiful. What did that take to, to get all that, you know, put together? Was that, okay, was that a one choice or was that a over time kind of building it? Like how did this um, come to be? I, I have some good friends from Pennsylvania um, yeah. and, and the trailer was ordered out there by EB Trailers. Um, they, they ordered it from Great Dane. Great Dane built it, shipped it to EB in Pennsylvania, and then they did the rest of the work to it. Um, but a lot of the guys that I know out there, I kind of based, based the build off of what they have. And uh, in my opinion, they're so much more advanced than we are in Wisconsin. Yeah. And uh, it was pretty cool to take their ideas and create what we have. Yeah, and that's, that's the thing is like, uh, especially being in our industry we always have to like take from people other people it's 
it's very much a collaborative effort, even though we're on the road by ourselves. We very much are like a one big family and we use each other to, to help and learn and it's always a learning process. I, I always I always yell at, at my buddy all the time because I mean, I always say if I didn't know you, I'd have much a whole bunch more money. You know, you always <laughs> cost me money because I got to keep up with you guys. So, you know, we always chuckle about that. Well, it's beautiful. I love all the lights, the red beautiful so I'm guessing you don't stand on this very much no not too much uh, <laughs> if you have to you have to take your shoes off and you know check the reefer yep. or whatever but yeah we try to try to stay off and I believe uh, after our first show in Waupon when we won I had a buddy of mine he did a full spread you know being a yeah. goofball on the deck yeah. plate but uh just pose on it yeah it's yep. for posing purposes <laughs> <laughs> oh it's beautiful it's beautiful I love how who did the top for it? Uh, there was a shop back home, uh, Zentera truck. Yeah. And uh, they, they did a lot of work for me. Um, they're always there for me. Anytime I call them, they, they make time for us. Uh, they're really, really great people. Um, awesome support. And uh, yeah, I can't thank them guys enough for everything they've done for me as well. I love that. I love that about your truck, how you're just, instead of just saying, oh, you know, this is my truck. You're you're appreciating all the people who came together to make it yeah. what it is. It ain't. It, it, I drive it. I own it. But I I can't keep it like this. It takes everybody from the you know the shops I deal with, uh, Zentera for a lot of the work that they do, uh, Evan Stagger for all the polish work, um, the paint. Th this paint is from when the truck was built in 2014. Uh, Dan's Auto Detailing back home. He is unbelievable. I mean, if y'all seen what this truck looked like before we went to a pond last year, you would not recognize it. And what he can do with a buffer is beyond <laughs> phenomenal. Wow. So I have I have a lot of great people that surround me from, you know, my dad, my wife, uh, my buddy Tyler and Whitey. Um, yep. uh, you can't do it yourself. Yep. So I'm very appreciative of everybody that circles around me. Well, thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> it's, it's just beautiful. I can't even. <laughs> it's hard. Like when I walk by, I'm just like, it's definitely like one of those ones where I feel like if I was driving on the road, you would pass me by. I'd be staring so hard that I might drive off the yeah, road. Yeah. <laughs> you know? I don't know how many people you see actually do that and like, falter a little bit you know you get a lot of thumbs up a lot of arm pumps uh yeah it, it's cool you know there's <sighs> this industry's got a bad name yeah you know yes, with the way certain drivers are today um we're not looked at like we you know like my dad was 30 years ago i mean they were they were yeah. well known they were appreciated and and we're just we're drivers now yep and uh it's cool to see the people on the road you know in their regular cars appreciate you still yeah. you know because you don't get it as much as maybe we should yeah